Beat it. <laughs> so how are we doing, Howard? I don't know. That's up to you. This is your place here? Uh, yeah, I bought it in uh, uh, 1980, I guess. And and you came from Massachusetts? You were I, yeah, but I came here and I was living on a boat. And um, I, th I went to boat school and I thought I was only going to be here for a couple of years. But then I ended up getting married. Is, is that the boat there? Uh, no, this was an old ferro cement boat I had went back and I came here in 1973 and I bought the cement hull when I was at boat school and I was going to sail away and I didn't, didn't do it. Is it possible to look at that boat? Is there, what uh, is that actually? Mess. Well, there's two boats there. And it looks like one is a cabin or something? Now? One's a sailboat and the other one's a boat that I'm living in right now. You, you actually live in it in the wintertime? Yeah, I've lived there for four or five years. Oh, this is, yeah. this is the best one. Hey, well, I wouldn't expect anything less. Look at this! Uh, it was a fishing boat and then it was used um, by a fish company I worked for and uh, they were going to burn it up and they gave it to me instead. And uh, you, you say you stay in here in the wintertime? Yeah, I live here. I'm and living it, here now, but it's you wouldn't know it to look at and, it. And, and this stove is I'm enough? in transition. Hey, so what? It's this is Org, uh, yeah, goes. He keeps the place all winter. This is great. Yeah, well. Now, what is that truck? Uh, it's a Mercedes Benz Unimog. It's an old fire truck. Oh, that thing is awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty good old truck. Do you use, is that your truck? Is that what you use? Yeah, it's a 1962. That's got a gas engine in it, but the newer ones are old. So, do you do most of the work yourself? Uh, yeah, a friend of mine friend of mine helping me, but uh, I had a guy come in with an excavator, and I had a well, I had a well put in there. Do you know anything about the history of the, the place? Um, no, it, uh, it was on, the Corgages who live up there had quite a big family, and it was owned by uh, one of their relatives. They owned four or five houses right in this area on this road. This is uh, so this this disgusting interior. Wow, you guys are really going at it here. See, these people are disguising their identities. They don't want to be associated with me. They don't. Well, you know. They're taking we also have, look, we have, look. I know the human being and the fish can coexist peacefully. <laughs> is we that all he says? Love, is we love he George uh, Bush. Rarely is the question asked. Is our children learning? <laughs> so you're a big fan? Oh yes, we love them. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, I won't put you. We'll just keep you the way it is. That's cool. Staying around the stove, staying warm. Now it makes no difference to you. What's your name? Brian Savage. What is Brian? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Gino. Yep. How's the job going, Brian? Uh, we're gaining on it. Yep. We got time. You bet. We're still young. That's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Absolutely. You can call me Your Excellency. <laughs> okay, that's what I'll call you. Hey. It's all old post and beam, and it's a big house. This, we found pieces of paper on the walls that date back to 1780 or 1870. something. 1870. <laughs> But the house is a lot older than that. Yeah, the house is a lot older than that. When do you think you'll be finished with her? <laughs> Never. We've been doing this for seven years now. No, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, right, Your Excellency. No, oh, been, yes. Your it's, Excellency. No, it's not Richard. That's right. It's been about a year we've been working on it. Uh, okay, about a year. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got mostly new cells under it, and a lot of you see the six by sixes and stuff. That, Good Just got the uh, slab poured out in the backyard for for the addition. And, oh, really? Well. Whenever just, you get to that. The yeah. date, well, it's done. But, uh, yeah, well, we're, we should be getting some wood here in a week or so. Yeah, the lumber should be here. Hopefully. So I, I bet back when when you first got here in the 80s, there was more happening around Lubeck. Is that right? Uh, there was a lot more. Uh, the factories were going, and there was, yeah, there was quite a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. Where was the school that you were going to go to? Was it in Eastport? Uh, no, no, the school at, that's in Eastport now was in Lubeck, and then they moved it over to Eastport. And I started there in 1973. 
Mm-hmm. And I lived down behind the post office on my boat for a few years. And then I got married and we had a child and uh, lived in various places. And then uh, I bought this house in 1980 yep. in the winter. So what do you think of Lubeck uh, these days? Lubeck used to be great. And-